anyways, last up, please put your hands together and welcome Father Simon Lobo to speak on the priesthood. All right. <laughs> so my story, which which is which is just it's just very ordinary, I'd have to say, but but beautiful. I grew up at St. Mary's and a wonderful Catholic family. And I, like I said, Father Bob was preaching this uh, so regularly. God has a plan for your life. Give him permission. And I believe that. And I was asking God, in fact, right from probably my mid-teenage years, for, for years on end, I was saying, God, I want to do your will. Show me what that is. And I just felt like I was talking to a brick wall at times. It was like, it's like, is God going to tell me what he, so, so I just decided, well, I have to do my best to, to do what makes sense for the time being. And so what I did was I went off to Queens University and I began a degree in life sciences. I was interested in pursuing medicine. During that year, I came home to Ottawa. It was during my reading week. And uh, I was buddies with a lot of the seminarians. So, so, I mean, we're talking, this is nine years ago this month. I came home to Ottawa. And these seminarians invited me over to the, the house next to St. Mary's. And so we went there, and they were going to do this little boys group. So, so we were going to pray the rosary with these, with these altar servers, and then we are going to play road hockey. So we, we prayed the rosary, and we're about to go out and play road hockey. And this is happens to be Father Bob's residence. So he walks out of his room right as we're coming down, and he's like, Simon, my boy, we should have a chat sometime. <laughs> you know, which is like, you know, I, I knew what he meant by that, obviously. <laughs> In fact, for a good half a dozen years, I had avoided the chat, you know. <laughs> so Father Bob, <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, I, want, I don't want to talk about this, or at least for many years, I didn't want to talk about it because I thought, I sincerely believed that becoming a priest was a fate worse than death. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought. And, and so there's Father Bob. He's, he's throwing it out there. So I said, okay, look, let's talk right now. And I just laid it all out in front of him. I said, Father Bob, I'm... I'm in this program, uh, I'm thinking about medicine, I'm doing really well, and it turns out that I was, I was in this kind of a long-distance relationship with this wonderful Catholic girl, and, and I could s see myself marrying her, and I was sharing this all with him, and, and to my surprise, he didn't, he didn't try and coerce me and say, uh, I think you should become a priest, but instead he just affirmed me. He affirmed me in all of these things that I was pursuing, and he said, but whatever you do, make sure you're pursuing God's will. Because that is where you will find true peace and true happiness. And so I left there thinking, you know, I've, I've heard him preach on this dozens and dozens of times. I've heard this before. But, but, but I, I, I mean, I didn't discredit it. And I went home. 48 hours later, I'm praying at home in, in my parents' living room. And, and I just prayed a simple prayer that I had prayed many times before. It's something like, uh, Lord, I'll do whatever you want me to do. And I say yes to that thing before I even know what it is. So the analogy is it's, it's kind of like, there's the prayer right there. It's kind of like signing a blank check with your life. So you sign off on the dotted line without the amount being filled in. And so, so there I was um, praying in my parents' living room. And that day, for some reason, as I'm praying that prayer, I, by the way, I prayed that prayer many, many times before, trying to abandon myself to the will of God. That day, I said, Lord, I'll do whatever you want me to do. And that day, I tagged on, and if you want me to be a priest, I'd love to do it. And just like Sister Anna <laughs> shared, it was this, this moment of, what? what did I just say? And I, I, I remember looking over my shoulder, making sure nobody had heard that. <laughs> it's like, but as I said that, I, I experienced this deep, deep sense of peace, this deep 
sense of the Holy Spirit present with me, and I knew something had happened. I couldn't deny that. So, so I went forth from there and, and continued to, to talk and discern and different experiences. And finally, I said, you know what? There, something is happening. I think God might be calling me to the priesthood. And for me to be sure, I have to join the seminary. So I did. September 2001, I joined the seminary. And uh, in a very short time, all I can say is it fit. It just was this hand-in-glove experience. I would have never expected that because leading up to that, I, I was sure that unless I get married, unless I'm having sex and having children and a family, there's no way that I could possibly be fulfilled. But I've discovered otherwise that, that because God has this plan for me, what, what finally clicked, I think, in my conversation with Father Bob was if God is calling me to something, he wouldn't call me to a life of misery. <laughs> he would call me to a place where I would fit, where, where I would be happy, where I would become fully alive. And that's what it's been like for me. Anyways, I know that obviously not all of you here are called to priesthood, though some of you may be. Um, but, but throughout the room, we have people called to the single life, to marriage, to, to religious life, and to the priesthood. And I just, I just really challenge you that as Father Bob, this, by the way, this is one of Father Bob's favorite passages from Psalm 37, verse 5. Father Bob's insistence in signing the blank check is that, you know what, it's not like, okay, God, if you tell me the plan, then I'll agree to doing it, you know? Like, kind of like, did any of you guys watch 24, Jack Bauer? I mean, how often is Jack there, and, and they're like, Jack, what's the plan? And he's like, I can't tell you the plan right now. I need to know that you're in. I need to know that you're with me. And, and I'll tell you on the way. You'll find out on the way what the plan is. That's the way it is with God. That's the way he needs to know that we're in. He needs to know that we are committed to him, and then... He will reveal it to us. He is desperately wanting to reveal his will to us. A place where we'll find true happiness and peace. But you know what I discovered? He's not going to tell you unless you're committed to saying yes to it. And so I leave you with this passage from Psalm 37, verse 5, close to the heart of Father Bob. And I hope a, a passage that you will memorize and, and keep close in your own heart. Why don't you say it with me? Commit your life to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act.